Hi, I am Nagesh from TechShore. I am dealing with NDT. Today we are going to discuss about RT. There are a lot of methods in NDT. About 14 methods. One of the method is RT. It's RT means radiographic test. Okay, then do you know what is NDT? NDT means non-destructive test. This non-destructive test means there is no destruction to any material or any harm. We are not going for any harmness to the material. That means another testing is also there, destructive test. Destructive test is like yield stress, yield stress like that we are uh, checking in back test like that. And here we are not dis destroying any materials uh, in the weld. We are mainly we are going to uh, inspect on welds, castings, and uh, some other uh, internal defects that can be occurred by manufacturing. In that areas we will go for NDT because we cannot destroy that material. So we are going for NDT and we find out any defect that can be occurred in that product. Okay. Here I am mainly going to discuss about RT. In that also, I am just explaining about the RT machine. Okay, what will the RT machines contain and how will our, we are going to uh, check? Okay, what the RT machine contains. Okay, I will throw one uh, machine here. The RT machine is mainly divided into three parts that are one camera or four, second one the guide line tube or guide tube or third one is control unit. These are the two main, sorry these are the three main parts of the RT machine. Okay. What is the purpose of uh, each and every unit I will discuss in this area. Okay. The control unit is controlling all uh, the area where we have to guide the guide tube or where we have to expose the isotope. Okay, in this uh, camera unit is the uh, here one is isotope. Isotope is equipped with in camera or port. Okay, in camera or port the isotope is equipped and the control unit is used to control the exposure of isotope to the. Uh, area we have to then do uh, the NDT. Okay. This is the isotope. Mainly we are using iridium, uranium like that. That's uh, up, upon our uh, requirement uh, which isotope we have to use. Okay. And here it is a shielded material. To reduce the intensity of the radiation we are using shielded materials like lead or uranium for reducing the intensity of the radiations from this isotope okay and the guide tube is say, flexible tube it is used to, to used to, to move the isotope where we have to uh, expose the isotopes it, in this guide tube, uh, there is one one area is open and another is connected to the control unit. Okay, in this control unit, we will control all the purpose, all the purpose in this unit only. Here is just one handle. We will rotate it, and by that, it is connected by rack and pinion movements, and it will move the isotopes to and from motion will occur here. And this is mainly a gamma ray equipment. There are two types of equipment, X-rays and gamma rays. And this one is a gamma ray equipment. Okay, thank you.